Hello everybody, how are you today? I expect you to be alright, okay? Today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, my own experience um, in life, okay? First of all, I am a checkers player. Uh, I am in the master division uh, of the game. Uh, I have been playing for over a decade, so 12 years already, which is really great for me, okay. Um, okay, it's just that I want to express it, this to you so you can know more about me, you know, I like checkers, I like playing the guitar, I like teaching, I like many things, I like languages, I like languages, I adore languages, okay, I, lo I adore um, discussing about many things, okay. Well, the fact is that, you know, as you have seen my videos many times, uh, I appreciate that from you, okay, so that's really cool. Uh, well, today I want to talk about teaching and my experience uh, in the English language, okay. First of all, first of all, I have my material right here. Okay. Okay. This is my material, the one I use. Okay, just just like that, you know, just like the one you see. I know you can appreciate that. Okay. These are just like that one. Okay. And inside these ones are written texts. Well, a whole text for each um, of one topic per piece, okay? Okay, um, I like teaching English. I have been studying very hard for a long time. It's been 12 years already since I started playing checkers. And basically, I, I know a lot of English. Well, I, and I am strict, I'm still uh, trying to learn more, okay, but my English is, is, is just cool, you know, it's alright. Uh, I can, I have the necessary to make a conversation, I can make conversations already, I, I know many things, okay, I have a lot of words, I have up to, if I am not wrong, up to, 6,000 words in my mind about the English language, which is really cool. Okay, I have some documents that prove that I have been studying really hard to obtain them. Yes, I have taken courses of English. I have been studying on my own. I have spoken to a lot of people. Uh, at the beach, most of them are native speakers from native English countries. You know, countries where they speak English, where English is mostly spoken. Actually, the the main language of the country. So it's really nice. Okay, I like preparing uh, my material every every time I'm going to teach to someone. Okay. I like doing examinations, so I can test test my students, so they can just you know show me what they have learned during uh, the time they have studied with me, and you know that's really fun when you have a classroom. That's really fun because you see a lot of different people, a lot of different people. Okay. Uh, you share skills to them and they share skills back to you, okay? So we both learn uh, one another, which is really cool. Um, well, you know, reading those kind of texts are too big, but for me, you know, it's just like a 
not a basic test, but yeah, of course it's a little bit complicated for um, people who are learning the language who have a basic um, English knowledge and even it is a challenge even for people who have a, an intermediate English level okay and you know basically those kind of tests are longer than the ones that come in the TOEFL examination you know uh, another thing is that I like speaking mostly and I like reading and I like practicing my English every day to just just anyone who wants to establish a conversation with me I just friendly ask them back and we all share well, it's it's like sharing skills, you know. When you have a conversation, you are actually learning more and more and more and acquiring more vocabulary every time you really speak to someone. You get to know more things. Uh, it's not about even reading books. It's about having contact with many people. So... These people will teach you uh, without expressing it. I mean, what I mean to say is that they don't pretend, they don't want to teach you, but while you are speaking to them, you get some new words. So if you get these words and actually write the words, on a notebook or somewhere, or if your mind is very mm, nice to catch things. It is great because that ability allows you to uh, remember that word or, or those words you, you uh, learned while speaking to that person or those people, you know the ones you were speaking to, okay, and you know, that's, that's wonderful, uh, I just have met a lot of friends um, from Canada, from Australia, from the United States of America, from England, from Cambridge, so many of them are teachers, and native English teachers who just travel here for having fun for vacation, holidays, okay, um, many of them, m most of them, have a very nice and decent English level, so I really enjoy it while I am speaking to them, because if I didn't do that, you know, my English is quite strong, but, you know, I have to communicate and make a lot of friends and that's really cool. Even if you are very advanced, just like me, you you can not know the whole, uh, you know, the whole dictionary uh, content, so you must Look definitely for those words who aren't familiar uh, with uh, when applying them or when you listen to them. You know, when you are not familiar with a, with a word, you must search and you must look for the word or words you just saw somewhere and you must really um, try to take your time and analyze the word and have a lot of uh, things in mind, you know. Um, well, basically, teaching for me, you know, 
I like social work. Okay, I have worked with uh, kids. Of uh, she was a girl of nine years old, and he was a uh, a boy of eleven years old in Puerto Escondido, Oaxaca, here in Mexico, and you know. I have had many others. I have just tested to other uh, students from other schools and other levels, as from high school, from mm, primary school, secondary school, etc. Okay, so. As they are different levels, you must learn and you must already know uh, what you are about to test, what you are about to, to, to apply to get your examination done and so they can so they can feel it, you know, they can just pick the right answer, the possible right answer to the questions. To every single question, to every single question of the questions, okay? Um, right now is 14 of January of 2016. It is 2 o'clock in the morning and 28 minutes, okay? I am here in Acapulco de Juárez Guerrero. Uh, you know, I have shared to you some basic information about. Uh, me and English, of course, I like doing a lot of things, you know. I mentioned some, like playing my guitar, uh, staying at home, resting for a while, uh, reading books, a lot of books. I have read a lot of books in, in like 15 years already, okay. Um, basically, if you read a lot, you learn as much as you are continuing reading, you know, and you really get a higher level of your own language, of your own native language, of your own mother language, okay? I was born here in Acapulco, the Juarez Guerrero. Um, I have traveled to many places in Mexico, as Baja California Sur, as Cancun, places as um, Chilpancingo, de, Chilpancingo Guerrero, okay. And you know, I like traveling. That's a little bit tired for me because I am. Uh, I remain sad. Um, my seat. So that's not good at all because you can get tired of being sitting all well the whole trip, you know, while traveling somewhere. Like if you travel from Acapulco to Cancun, it will take almost 24 hours if if you are traveling by bus. Okay. So, the bus is going to stop in many uh, states and you will see a lot of cities and you will possibly buy your, your food, okay, and so you have to spend uh, not a lot of money but some money, okay, so you, well, when traveling I suggest you to to have your money with you, okay, if your wallet really prepared for anything that just come to your mind, you know, just come up to your mind. And if you want to buy a soft drink, you must buy it because your body, your body requires it to you, you know. And, you know, there are many things I would like to talk about, but it's time to finish this video. Uh, I just want to show this to you so you know more about me, okay? I appreciate 
uh, to every single one of you who have supported me, who have trusted me every time, who people who have uh, been with me, uh, people who have chatted with me, people who are my friends, most of most most of you are my friends, okay? And you know, I wish the best for you. Um, I'm quite sure if you are really uh, listening to this video, you will be wondering why should I learn other languages? Well. The first fact to consider is that you must learn languages to communicate to others or with others, okay, depending on what you mean, okay. Another point is that you really need languages to get more opportunities, okay. There are many jobs and they will employ to the highest. Uh, employee who has wonderful skills if you speak more than one or two languages will be just fine so you can get the job easily without having trouble or any kind of problem you know uh, you can pass an interview you can speak uh, feeling free and feeling really comfortable and you can actually, you know, just keep the conversation going without having to stop or something like that, or feeling anxious or anything like that, just anything, okay? If you are a native English speaker, you should learn, you should, you should try to learn Spanish and Italiano and many other languages. They are useful for traveling, while traveling. Um, to communicate to others, to um, be secure in a country that isn't yours. So it's really nice you to know the main language of the country you are traveling to. Okay, so I suggest you to practice languages so you can be able to get away from danger or just get the best um, services in town in the city you are in in the city you are going to be at um, you can actually teach your native language in that country you are traveling to but most people here require uh, documents as proof of your English level or your native speaking speaking language. Okay, so you will have to at least uh, show them a TOEFL examination or a Cambridge uh, certificate. Most. Uh, most companies here require a TOEFL examination and a Cam or a Cambridge um, certification. So it is good for you if you prepare. Okay, I have to stop this video for now, but I wish the best for you. I wish the best to you always. I am going to wish it. Um, I expect to. I expect you to watch my next videos, okay? It's late here. Today is 14th of January of 2016. It's 2 o'clock in the morning and 36 minutes. It's getting late. I'm about to go and rest for a while. Uh, you know, I just wanted to, to, to talk to you up for a bit. Um, so you knew more about me and you can uh, get more information about the one you are watching every time while playing the guitar. Sometimes I will upload 
some checkers videos and let me lock the cable one second okay I'm back so uh, once in a while I am going to lock some checkers uh, games uh, sometimes I will teach you some master moves, master shots, uh, all of it related to checkers, to the checkers world, and some exhibition games, so you know how to get out of trouble when you have two pieces and the other one, your opponent has three pieces, so you can still get a draw. Okay, so it's a PP game, and you know, uh, based on your skill, based on your skills, um, you can get a very high rating while you know playing at the ACF Federation. You know, it's widely recognized recognize okay so think about what I have told you through this video think about the things you can make through uh, if you have more skills and if you study if you Maintain yourself in well conditions. Uh, you always must try to reach for the best. Okay. Okay. That's all. I have to end this video right now. But I will possibly. Yes, I will. Definitely upload more videos. Okay. I expect you to watch them. And you have a great morning. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thanks.